Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and thank you for tuning in. As you can see from today's title, this is a review but a favourite of mine. So it's not something new I've tried, I'm just reviewing it for you and then telling you why it is a favourite of mine. And it's something that um, it's taken me a long time finding. I've tried a very, I've tried a lot, and it's eye creams. And uh, excuse me, I, I'm all, I'm a face toucher, you know. And uh, and what I do have to say is that my background is as an esthetician. I've worked with a lot of different brands, and yeah, this is still the best one I've ever found. And I'll show you what it is. Yay! I don't even know if you can see that. It is the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Eye Gel Cream with Hyaluronic Acid. As you can see, mine's well used. Let me talk to you first, and now I have to be conscious of time on YouTube videos, but let me just talk to you first about the under eye area, why it is important to moisturise, I don't care what age you are, well obviously not babies, but you know, as you get older you'll, you'll find that it starts to get drier and drier, and then as you really progress in age, it gets really dry under there, and for anybody who uses under eye concealer, um, you know, you can always you can always tell dryness because it's definitely it cracks and stuff like that. I don't use under eye concealer at all. I I I used to, but I, I don't bother with a lot of makeup these days, as you can tell from my face. <laughs> Why is this my favourite? Well, let me give you a little bit of background on it first. I was trying to read off the back of the tube, and it, the words are that small. It's like no, no, I can't. Okay, I got mine from Walmart, but they sell it on Amazon and any other major drugstores. Neutrogena Hydro Boost Eye Cream, Gel Eye Cream with Hyaluronic Acid, 0.5 fluid ounces. It says the unique water gel formula absorbs quickly like a gel. Uh, it's non-comedogenic, it won't clog pores, so that's very important under your eyes, trust me. Uh, ophthalmologist tested it is oil fragrance and dye free uh, hyaluronic acid I know you're probably saying what what on earth is that well it's naturally it's it's an it's a substance that's naturally found in the skin and um, over time it's you, you start losing it and what hyaluronic acid does is when you apply it to your skin it absorbs moisture in the air and it attracts moisture to you and that's what you want you want something that attracts moisture you don't want something taking moisture away um, and it attracts moisture and locks it in the price of this is $13.66 I don't know if you previously if you previously bought eye creams tested eye creams but they're very, very expensive for very small tubes. And some tubes are even smaller than this. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. The prices that they get away with eye creams. Um, and how much they charge for it. I don't think this is a bad price. And for me, um, and a lot of my customers I would recommend this to. It worked a lot. Um, morning and evening, if you like. I mean, it always says morning and evening, and as an esthetician, I would say morning and evening. But realistically, I mean, I try to, to be like that, but for sure, I have an evening, 100%, after I've had my shower. I'm not always that good in the morning. I'm sorry, I'm just not. Um, I like anything that is gel-based, and the reason I like anything gel and water-based is because underneath the eyes and I used to see it a lot with customers coming in they used to have like little tiny white dots and that's just that it could either be milia or it can be just little bits of things just trapped under there there's lots of different things it could be 
but as you you age you, you do see that a lot more and you know I had some people and they had so many under there so I would say anything that's going to sink in that is a thicker cream I I would always say avoid try and go with something um, gel or water based because not only is it going to sink in quite fast but it's not going to leave it's not going to leave anything under there that you don't want or that's going to add to anything that's underneath your eyes because it does you know um, it's fragrance free I always go fragrance free with absolutely everything that that I um, that I do anyway I have uh, a cat that suffers with um, well one with allergies and another one that, that can have breathing difficulties sometimes um, depending on where she's been and that so I changed every every single thing in my house nothing has a fragrance if I can help it did that for her because he's my baby <laughs> anyhow you want to know how to apply this first thing I do um, I've been touching my face a lot so I've got myself a little nice little washcloth and if you like the skin series I can definitely do some more but this would be if you've just had your wash etc etc I always use a washcloth after I've washed very lightly on my face you know not nothing you're not rubbing um, but that oh my boys my boy cats just hurt that I'm filming so the next thing I do is while my face is still a little bit moist, I apply a, um, I don't know, like a mist. I've had some good ones in the past. I actually like this one from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Um, infused with lavender oil and it's a calming mist. I like this a lot. Uh, I think it calms my skin down. I think it calms me down. I like the smell of it. It's the only smelly thing I've got in the house. Other than my husband's socks. So before my face dries completely. I always spray myself with a mist. I will do a review on this mist. Because I, like I say I really like it. How to apply it. fingers my fingers are clean small amount and then you do not want to press it all the way under here you want to do it maybe a little bit more around the orbital can you see I've taken it out and I'm taking it under and around I'm not putting anything right under there the reason is that we have vein vein we have little um, wrinkles lines whatever you want to call them that go run up into the eye on the skin and this will automatically find its way up there anyway if you apply it there straight away there's nowhere else for it to go other than into your eye so I would say in a round circular where the orbital bone is I'm looking at the screen to do this so round and out up and out okay and this is already drying in I'm gonna do the other one another little bit And I start from about here and we're doing out and out and we are following the orbital bone if I have any left the upper lip ain't wasting that and this dries almost immediately it really does it uh, it will hydrate my eyes pretty much all day now it's uh, it goes straight in and over time you'll notice that it will be it will be more hydrated 
and that's kind of what you want um, definitely if you're in environments where it's uh, there's a lot of air conditioning on stuff like that and you notice any real dryness under there this is this is small enough you could keep this in your in your bag in your pocket wherever you want just pull it out you don't ha just have to use it twice a day you can use it more but I tend to use this and then I will use some kind of mist during the day to keep my face hydrated. Like I say, this one has an oil in it. It's, it's fabulous. And that will just hydrate my skin during the day. Um, can it go on over makeup? I would say you put that on first and then pop your makeup on. Let it dry fully though, you know. Um, I don't have a bad thing to say about it. I mean, that gets 10 out of 10 in my book. I think it's the price is good. It's a nice tube. If you do suffer with a lot of redness under there, you can always keep this in the refrigerator. And then when you take it out, you have that cooling that's going on around. That's a very nice thing to do. And yeah, if you're after a good, good eye cream, esthetician approved, which is me. This would be it. Uh, I don't think I'll try another one. And like I say, I've tried many, many in the past different brands. I've tried some extraordinarily expensive ones, but I think, I think, I think you get a good amount in there for the price. And it does its job. I haven't found that it irritates my eyes. And some of them, during the day, they can. It, they could that what they would do is they would make my eyes run just a little bit this one doesn't and like I say you want to make sure you apply it to your orbital bone you feel where the bone is and that's where you apply it all the way around it will naturally go down into these areas and moisturize them what do you think of my review on that if you like my review on the skin uh, and some of my favourites, I can do some more. But for today, um, that was it. That was my eye cream product review. I will put the link to Amazon below um, for anyone who wants to order online. But like I say, any of the good Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, any of those places, Target, they all sell this. And this is from the Hydro Boost collection, which is a very good collection, just to let you know because it's gel based <laughs> so try and go for gel based if you can uh, thank you for watching my video I appreciate it and if you liked my video today a thumbs up would be great see I've still got my nails on and if you haven't already subscribed and you like the content of my videos you can hit that subscribe button I would I would appreciate that also and in the meantime have a great one guys <laughs>